Oh, hello there. Welcome to a very special episode of the DM cast. Uh, why is it special? Because I get it all to myself. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. Usually I have my sidekick with me. Yes, he's my sidekick. He'll tell you the difference, but no, he's my sidekick. Brett's on vacay this week, so I get to do all the picks, all the wonderful talking, the speechifying, if you so will. Um, it's a great week for comics. Uh, it's smaller, but gooder, I say. So uh, it's a small week because January's got five Wednesdays in it, so um, they kind of spread it out a little bit. But quality stuff out this week. Uh, I'm going to go by publisher. So uh, first up, DC Comics, Harley Quinn number two. Uh, a lot of people digging on this series. Obviously, Harley Quinn, it's kind of like no-brainer. It was uh, one of the ones that probably should have been in the initial new 52, um, but I'm glad it's around. Harley has her own place now. She owns a... a she owns a building with tenants and all kinds of stuff, so uh, it's really crazy. And you got art by uh, newcomer Chad Harden. So uh, we like this. You like it. Issue one is in stock. I know it's gone back to second print, so you can watch out for that for all you uh, completists. Uh, Batman 27, continuing zero year. This is a pretty terrifying Batman, if you ask me. It's, um, you know, Scott Snyder, Jacob Pulo. What else do you need? Um, kind of exploring the, the beginnings of Batman in the new 52. Um, Justice League, 27. Uh, I'm really digging this as, if you're reading Forever Evil, you should read this because it kind of goes into the backstory of the crime syndicate. Uh, so uh, they get a little looks at their origins, and then um, you're kind of getting bits and pieces of what's going on. Who's the hooded stranger and all that stuff. So if you're reading Forever Evil, you should be reading Justice League, at the very least. Uh, we're going to bop over to Marvel. Uh, all New Invaders, number one. Now you're probably like, uh, another Invaders book. But why I'm picking it, it's uh, James Robinson. James Robinson is one of my favorites. Wrote uh, Starman. If you've never read it, seek it out. Um, and he also did a lot of the Golden Age stuff. So like the JSA, Hawkman, over at DC. So he's kind of treating uh, the updates to the Golden Age Marvel guys. And the Invaders, I think, might actually reference aliens. So, and I'm not making that up. Because uh, you got the preview in the Marvel Point One. So, uh, Hawkeye, always one of my favorites. Uh, this is focusing on Kate Bishop, the female Hawkeye. Um, just always awesome writing, awesome art. If you're not on this, it's not your typical Marvel superhero book. So, uh, all the trades are in stock. You should be reading this. Um, this year's Hawkeye is Black Widow. We told you this last time. Um, if you have never read a Black Widow comic, if you don't know anything about Black Widow, don't worry about it. It's a great jumping on series. It's uh, focusing on her past, present, making up for her past. Um, great art, great writing. Uh, issue one is still in stock because we really like it and we're gonna back it up. Um, outside of the main Marvel Universe, you got George Romero's Empire of the Dead. Picking it, why? The good godfather of zombies. Doing a zombie story with Alex Maleev. Um, who is just perfect for a zombie story. So check this out if you are into zombies or George Romero. Uh, going on to zombies, again, twisting over to Image, latest issue of The Walking Dead. What can I say? But uh, since Brett's not here, I'll just say, it's so good, it's so good. So uh, continuing on All Out War, that's my, that's my, hi Brett. Um, and then lastly, on Image side, you've got uh, Deadly Class. This is Rick Remender's new book, um, Picture, um, Kids living on the street in the 80s, one of them gets uh, pulled into this, uh, this group of assassins. So they're going to train him to be an assassin. Uh, if you like Remender's books over at Marvel, Uncanny Avengers, Uncanny X-Force, etc., etc., try this out. And subscribers, guess what? This is your uh, DM Comics Now 52 book. Uh, so you get it for half price. So that's $1.75. Try it out. What do you got to lose? $1.75. Um, so those are some comics that are out this week. Uh, I just want to point out a couple graphic novels that are out. Stuff of Legend Omnibus, Volume 2. Um, these guys are great, and the book is really great, and you should be checking it out. If you haven't yet, do yourself a favor. We got all the books in stock. You're going to love it. Okay? We guarantee it. Uh, and then also, I'm Abraham Lincoln, and I am Amelia Earhart. This is uh, Brad Meltzer teaming up with Chris Eliopoulos, who does a lot of the lettering for Marvel and, and Image and uh, does art. So this is a fun book for the kids. I'm really psyched about that to bring that to my children's at home. Um, I'm going to transfer into Brett's stuff. 
portion of the show. Uh, we get new Walking Dead pint glasses. You can choose between Rick or uh, Daryl, or you can get them both. Uh, they're really cool glasses. They got the blood splatters and everything on it. So I think we get some other pint glasses in stock too. So, and then uh, anybody that likes Doctor Who, we got Doctor Who stuff. We got uh, the eleventh Doctor Potato Head. I think we've got the uh, the tenth Doctor as well. He's still in stock. Uh, we got the Tardis and Dalek salt and pepper shakers back in stock. We got the eleventh. There was eleventh. Oh yeah. Talking. Look at him. He lights up and everything. That's sweet. You like that. Get it for the kids. And then we've got this uh, sweet 10th Doctor vinyl figure. So uh, that'll look great on your desk. Uh, look for it with all the Doctor Who stuff that we have. So uh, this week, a lot of great stuff. Uh, we want everybody to come down, check everything out. Both shops have got great stuff. Uh, we're gearing up uh, for um, Magic. Born of the Gods pre-release is coming up. That's uh, February 1st. And second, we're doing signups now. You can choose your path. So you want to sign up early so you can get your first pick. Uh, there's going to be five events in Manchester. The first one is midnight. That's Friday into Saturday. You get pizza. You get pancakes in the morning. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the best deals going around. So um, check that out. Sign up today. Uh, the following weekend, we've got uh, the actual release of Born of the Gods. You can pre-order your booster boxes, your fat packs, all that stuff. You get double points on your rewards card. And speaking of magic, save April 19th and May 17th. Can't say what, but there are big events going on in those days. So that's a little teaser there for you. So magic players, April 19th and May 17th. They're so close together that it's like, I think April and May are just gonna be nutso for magic. Um, also nuts for Marvel movies. We got Cap, we've got Spider-Man, we've got X-Men. Trust us, we're working on something really cool for those three movies together. Um, can't say what just yet. Uh, speaking of movies, we might have something cool cooking up in Conquer too. So look for an announcement on that. And uh, make sure you're following us on the interwebs because uh, that's where all the information gets thrown out, you know. And then the newsletter as well. So sign up. You can do that on the website. And uh, I think that is all I have for this week. So next week, uh, Brett will return. He'll make his triumphant return. He'll be all tanned. I will be jealous, we will get crazy, we will get nuts, and uh, I think that's it. So you guys have a wonderful week, and we'll see you here at the shop.